everybody. It is me, CG, aka Country Girl. It is Tuesday, the 27th of August, so vlogging's day 27th. I am on my way home. I got probably about an hour to go, I think. Yeah, about an hour. Um, Andy has been cooking chicken. Yum. I am starving, so I'm really looking forward to that. He put a couple of birds for me that I had in the freezer. He got them out, we bought them, and then he got them. Went down to my place and got them and put them on the smoker for about an hour, uncovered, and then we covered them up in, with some apple juice and onions and other stuff, and just letting them steam away in that juice. So, that's going to be yummy. Um, then once I get home, we're going to get some of that chicken and... I'm not sure what I'm going to throw with it, but I'll throw something else with it. And we're going to go back up to the hospital and take Christy a meal. I'm sure she's getting sick and tired of eating out and it's expensive as all get out. So we're going to go do that. We'll take her a meal and hang out for a little bit and just give her a little bit of company. I know I talked to her earlier and she was going stir crazy in the hospital. Thank you so much, big truck. I love it when you cut people off like that. Sorry, guys. Anyway, um... I thought I'd tell y'all about the idiot of the day today because, you know, when I find them that they're really shake your head kind of moments, I have to share with y'all. So anyway, I don't remember where this was at. I want to say it was Florida, but I'm not 100% sure on that, but it would fit. Anyway, guy calls the police because his red pickup truck has been stolen from a parking lot. So he calls the police to report it stolen. They go out to the scene. As they're talking to him, the other officer, I guess, is listening to the radio or whatever, and a report comes in about a robbery at the store right across the street from where this guy's truck was stolen. The store was robbed. And as he's listening to the description of the robber, he's noticing it looks a whole lot like the guy whose truck was stolen. He matched the description perfectly. So he goes over to the guy and asks if he can look in his bag. And sure enough, he's the one that just robbed the store across the street. And when he came to get in his truck for his getaway, his truck was stolen. So he called the police to report the truck stolen. Needless to say, he was arrested for the burglary, for theft. And they're still looking for whoever stole his truck. They had not found it yet, but... I was like, you know, okay, yeah, okay. I, some people's children, I thought I could tell you, some people's children. It's a little bit cooler today because it's been so cloudy and overcast all day. So it's like 84, I think, which is not horrible compared to what we've been having. So that was a good thing. And as you can see, with all the clouds and overcast, I need my sunglasses. What else did I do today? I did some invoicing, did some billing. Stuff. Played kindergarten, as Andy calls it. We process our visas for my guys. And, you know, I think I shared with you before, I have to take their receipts and match them to the statement and code them and... And I have to break out all the charges that go to each independent job so they know how much to charge to each job, what have you. And then all of those tickets, and on Adams, it's, this year, this month was 57 tickets. And I think Bill's was 42. But all of those tickets have to get taped, two full sheets of paper, so that they can be scanned and sent to corporate. I have a small desktop scanner. I don't have my big copier like I did in Houston. Houston, I just put them on the glass. I didn't tape anything. I put the tickets directly on the glass and hit scan and then told it, yes, I'm going to do another page and just get going. I don't have that here because Memphis is... Memphis doesn't have the volume that Houston has, doesn't have the budget that Houston has, so therefore it doesn't have the copier that Houston has. So I tape them, and because it's a little small desktop scanner, unless you literally tape all four sides of every receipt, 
it will jam in your scanner and you'll have to start all over. So Andy calls it playing kindergarten with tape and glue. That takes me a good couple of hours to do all those things and it's one of my least favorite job duties. I do because that's my job, it's what they tell me to do, but it is definitely one of my least favorite. I do not like doing them. Uh, it is what it is. I did that today. I don't know if I told you guys I got a whole brand new ceiling in my office the other day and on the, you know, we have the drop down acoustic tiles. So all of those tiles were replaced with brand new bright white ones. And we had the old style fluorescent lights, you know, have like four long fluorescent bulbs. bulbs. We replaced those with LED flat panels. No more bulbs to change, no nothing. The panels are said to last up 20 years, which is way beyond when I'm gonna be here. But they are so bright and white and just the whole place is now lit up. It's made it so much easier for me to see. And yeah, I'm enjoying that. So that was a good thing. A little sleepy. I didn't end up getting into bed till about 10.45. And then I just couldn't sleep. I just couldn't make myself relax. And I have my melatonin and stuff, but I can't take it that late or I'm really dragging the next day because I don't get, I don't have enough time to get enough sleep now. So I know it was probably well after 11.30 when I fell asleep. And of course, the alarm goes off at four. So I'm just kind of tired today. Anyway, other than that, there's really not a whole lot going on. Uh, when I get home, if I think about it, I'm not going to promise anything. If I think about it, I'll get you guys a shot of the chicken. I think there's a possibility. Andy sent me a little video clip of it. I may be able to pull a screenshot from that. When he put it in there that first hour that it was uncovered. I'll figure out something. I'll get it in there and I'll pop on and let Andy say hi for a little bit at some point during this journey. So... For now, I'm going to cut this off, I'm going to get home, and I will holler at y'all in a little while. See you later. Well, y'all, I told y'all I'd come down here and show you. Oh, MJ. And right up there's chickens. I'll show them to you in a minute. Let me get my camera turned around. Y'all, that's fall off the bone. If that ain't fall off the bone, I don't know what is. <laughs> there you go guys there's the chicken now we're going to get some of this cut up for supper and for miss christy too and we'll holler at y'all later when we get to the hospital hey guys i'm back um i'm sorry about the lighting here but as you can see it's dark it's late it's almost 10 if not already after let me see i don't know what time it is hold on oh yeah quarter after 10 i'm tired y'all i'm going to bed we did go see Christy. We took her the chicken. We visited for quite a while and she took some chicken and potato salad and just visited and kept her company for a while. So she was getting ready to go up and go try to get some sleep. I'm home now. Andy's on his way home. He just dropped me off and I'm going to call this one good. I hope you guys have had a great time, had enjoyed the video. I hope you had a great day and I will see y'all on the next one. Good night guys. Love y'all.